I think happiness is like the effect on an audience when acting. If you think of it all the time, you will not get it. You must get lost in the part, lost in your purposes, and let the effect be the criterion of your success. Happiness is a gift that accompanies every instance of our lives. If we approach each situation with gratitude, knowing that what's offered to us is special to our particular needs, the experiences we meet day to day are honoring our spirit, tempering our hard edges. For these, we should offer gratitude. Our well-being is the gift. Deciding what will make us happy. In fact, what we must have to be happy prevents us from grasping the unexpected pleasure of the chance, events of the moment. When we intently look for what we think we need, we may well be blind to more beneficial opportunities God has chosen for us. Our self-centeredness hinders every breath we take. It prejudices every encounter. It stifles our creative potential. And most of all, it blocks any chance for a spontaneous reaction to the moment. Spontaneity is the breeding ground for creative living and happiness is the byproduct. What is the message? The message for today is that true happiness can be found not by seeking, but by experiencing. For myself, a big adjustment I am learning is to focus on positive things. When I reflect back on my past and my childhood, I try not to bring such focus to the negative things that flood my memory. Many of those bad memories kept me sick for a very long time. The more I fed into those negative thoughts about myself, the more sick I became. I was given many opportunities to find sobriety, but deep down, I was scared to fail. Deep down, I didn't feel I was worthy of a different life. Deep down, I didn't think I could change. I continued to listen to those negative thoughts and continued to remain sick. When I turned to recovery, I had nothing left but the desire to live and the fear that that desire may be lost too. I put a lot of work into my early recovery. I showed up every day. Some days I was willing and some days I was fighting. But I still showed up because my life depended on it and I began to firmly believe it. I worked with people I had never met before in my life and shared words with them I may never share again. I began to regain control of my life and since I was still unsure whether I was capable of change, I handed the control of my life over to God. From that moment, I've been able to breathe. I sleep at night. I wake up in the morning. I thank God for another day. I remind him that he is in control and I am not. My entire day becomes centered around how I can continue to serve God and hold on to the gratitude that has been gifted to me in recovery. As a result of this change within myself, I now believe that I am worthy of a different life and I am no longer scared to fail. I found true happiness in my sobriety because I've never worked harder for anything else in my life. What is my goal for today? My goal for today is to be mindful of any of my old self-centered behaviors 
that need to be redirected. I know that I'm not perfect. I know that there's always more work to be done. But for today, I would like to avoid my self-centeredness so that I can continue to experience happiness. Please subscribe to this channel for your daily reflections. If this inspired you, let me know in the comments below by sharing what your goal is for today.